The first step to set up email on your device is to make sure that the email button is visible. It is already visible on my device, though if you need to add it, select all page sets, text communication, then long distance communication. From here, you can add email to your home screen. The next step is to enter your email account details within the email page. I can do this by opening settings and clicking on new. I have a Gmail account, so I will keep Gmail selected and press next. I then need to give my account a name and enter the email address and password. I can press finish then OK. Pressing send and receive pushes out any mail waiting to send and pulls in any mail that has arrived in the inbox. You can see here that this did not work. This means that I have not completed the setup process. I need to open up the web browser and log into my email account to complete the process. Within my Gmail account, I can open settings. From settings, I select forwarding and pop IMAP. I can enable pop and disable IMAP. Press save. Settings may be accessed differently for different email providers. An additional step I can follow to ensure success is to open my account settings. From here, I can make sure that I have enabled less secure apps. I can check this by selecting connected apps and sites. I can now return to communicator. Now that I have set up my email account correctly, my emails appear in the inbox when I press send and receive. Opening settings allows me to set my preferences. Under reception, I can decide on various items such as choosing if I want a sound to play when a message is downloaded. I can change notification and contact settings within the delivery tab. And under Advanced, I can allow the downloading of attachments. The Purge Folder button is useful for deleting all emails in the inbox. This is the only way to delete all emails within a specific folder.